Yo, what's up to me, Sick of it, Patrick? Welcome to part one of my guide to Branches of Darkmire. If you're looking for the other parts, the links are in the description. Anyways, on screen right now are the requirements and items needed for this quest. To start the quest, go to the building in Berg Rot, marked you here on his map. Climb over the broken down wall and climb down the trap door. Talk to Valley of Hertz and select the options run on screen. Climb up the ladder, climb over the broken down wall, and enter the cave south of the bank. Take the letter off the ground, search the coffin, and say yes to yet a mysterious medallion. Go back to Valley of Hurts. Talk to Valley of Hertz and select the options run on screen. Head into the northernmost room, talk to Safalan, and select the options run on screen. Click on the Mysterious Medallion and choose Meyer Ditch Laboratories. Climb up the staircase, open the door, and walk through the Slash Tapestry. Follow the yellow path to the area marked you here on this map. Talk to Vertita Cephalatus. Climb up the wall, wait for the cutscene to end, and talk to Megrita Sahara. Stand on the lookout point to the south. Drop down from the floorboards to the east, go outside the building, talk to Nessie, and select the options run on screen. Uh, 
attack Venuscula Draken, then talk to her and select the options run on screen to get a letter. Click on the Mysterious Medallion and choose Meyer Ditch. Head into the northernmost room and talk to Safalan. Talk to Vertita Cephalatus and ask what do I need to what do I need to go to Darkmire? Go to the southwest corner of the area. Search the crates until you find 30 smoke bombs. Click on the mysterious medallion and choose Meyer Ditch Laboratories. Climb up the staircase, open the door, and walk through the slash tapestry. Follow the yellow path to the area marked here on this map. Squeeze through the grate, then talk to Vanscuela Draken and select the options run on screen to get some thread. To move around this area, you have to use smoke bombs and hide in between and inside buildings. Uh, also, stay away from fire watches because they can smell you even through smoke bombs and stuff. Basically, what you have to do is you need to search chests that are found inside buildings in the area to get pieces of a Darkmire outfit. Uh, I believe there are four pieces. First place you're going to go to is the closest building to the east. Search the two chests in the northeast corner and the southeast corners. Uh, then go to the next building that you can enter to the east and search the chest in there. Head to the next building that you can enter to the north and search the two chests found in the northwest and northeast corners. Go to the building to the east and search the chest to the north. When you have obtained all four pieces of the Darkmire outfit, uh, fix all four pieces and put it on. The smoke bombs and hiding are no longer necessary. Then go back to Venezuela Draken. Talk to her and select the options run on screen. Head northeast and go up the stairs.
talk to Sentinel Mortshade, and he'll ask you what your vampire name is. Pick anything you like. Go inside the building in the northeast corner and talk to the Virewatch guard inside. What you have to do now is build up your status in the city by performing various tasks. This is one of those tasks. You have to terrorize Maria by talking to her and telling her things to mess with her or using the angry or laugh emotes while standing near her. However, each task has a limit on how much status it can give you. So keep talking to her until she says leave me alone. Then keep using the emotes until it says in your chat box that she's no longer paying attention to you. When you're done with Maria, head west to the building marked you here on this map. Talk to Valentina Kaust and say okay to get a bottle of blood. Heal to full health because this is going to deal a lot of damage, but drink the bottle of blood and say yes. Talk to Valentina Kaust again and say oh yes, it was the best blood ever. Go outside, uh, find Gringan Caninus slightly to the southeast, talk to him, and say perhaps I could help you get them back. You now have to go looking around for blood veiled younglings. There are a total of five, and the yellow dots on this map are common areas where they can be found. If you can't hold all five at once, you can go back to Gringan Caninus, who can be found in the area circled in yellow on this map. If you forget where he is and uh, talk to him to give them back to him one at a time. Regardless, when you find all five, talk to him to give them all back to him. Pause the video if you need this map because I'm moving on to the next part now. After capturing all five Bloodvale younglings and giving them back, go to the area marked you here on his map. Talk to Sanguinus Varnus and ask him what can I do. You now need to uh, vandalize some posters. There are a total of four. They can be found on the walls where the yellow lines are. When you get the chat options, uh, pick whatever you like. And when you have vandalized all four posters, go back to the area marked you here on this map. Talk to Sanguinus Varnus. Uh, once you've talked to him about vandalizing the posters, go to the next area marked you here on this map. Talk to Mistrevis Vakin and ask, what do I need to do? Approach nearby Blood Tither and say yes. Talk to Venezuela Dragon and select the options written on screen. Alright guys, that's actually going to be in the part 1 of this guide. I hope you're finding it helpful so far. If you are, remember to like your favorite if you haven't already. Part 2 is linked in the description. I'll see you there.